The movie starts with our lead, Darla, canoodling with a random man in an empty classroom. Darla is at a school for her sexual addiction recovery meeting. Once Darla is done, she gets up to leave. The man asks her to help him up, but Darla simply walks out of the room. As she's getting out of the room, Darla bumps into Bailey. Darla pulls out a cigarette and is about to light it up when Bailey tells Darla to not smoke in there. However, Darla jokes about it and makes fun of getting cancer from smoking. Bailey does not respond to it and walks into the cancer support group meeting next door. Darla feels embarrassed, but she does not give it much thought and decides to walk away. After that, Darla heads into her sexual addiction recovery meeting. As Darla enters her meeting, she sees the same random man she's canoodled with managing the meeting. The random man is her meeting leader. Darla tries to get him to sign her slip, but the man is angry at the way Darla treated him. Having left with no other choice, Darla is forced to attend the meeting. Meanwhile, there's Bailey, who is a newbie at the cancer support group meeting. As a newbie, Bailey gets the turn to introduce himself and talk about his diagnosis, but Bailey refuses to and asks the group to move on. The next day, Bailey is at his gym when his angry girlfriend Elizabeth walks in. Bailey has been having a hard time getting over Elizabeth. Bailey tries making new plans with Elizabeth, but she outrightly shuts him out. Meanwhile, Darla is fired from her writing job because she screwed a coworker. Later that night, Bailey shows up at Elizabeth's hangout place after seeing her Instagram story. Bailey tries to tell Elizabeth about his cancer, but he keeps on drinking wine glass after glass until Elizabeth tells him she's on a date. Devastated, Bailey has no other choice but to walk out. On the other side of town, Darla is at her addiction meeting. Mid-session, a drunk Bailey walks in on the group meeting by mistake and announces his diagnosis. Bailey recognizes Darla and is about to mention her meeting with the group leader when Darla instantly gets up and tells the group they are about to leave. Bailey happily complies and lets Darla guide her out of the room. Darla takes Bailey to a diner. When she's pulling out some tissues to give to Bailey, Darla pulls out a brochure and places it on the table. Darla tells Bailey that as a part of this addiction meeting, they're supposed to make a list of all the places they where they've canoodled and then circle it on the map. A suggestion that Bailey jokingly makes takes a hit in Darla's mind. Darla convinces Bailey to go on a cross-country trip with her. Bailey is a little skeptical, but agrees on the condition to visit Dallas so he can reignite things with Elizabeth. The next day, Darla goes to her former boss, Tanya, and tries to persuade her into giving her job back, but it doesn't work. Darla talks Tanya into letting her blog about her experience of a road trip in the magazine in hopes of getting her job back. Tanya agrees, and Darla is over the moon. Darla decides to not tell Bailey about the blogging in case he'll back out. After getting a chance to turn her life around, Darla shows up in a Craigslist car at Bailey's door. Bailey hops in the convertible and the two of them ride away. Darla's first stop is at an airport. Darla guides Bailey to the women's bathroom and after she is peed, Darla and Bailey can noodle. Later that night, Darla and Bailey stay at a motel. Darla lets Bailey sleep on the bed and then goes off to the bathroom to write her blog post for the day. The next day, after Bailey comes back from his morning run, he takes a picture of Darla. Bailey has taken quite a lot of pictures of her and them together. Bailey walks up to Darla and she's working on her blog. Bailey asks about it, but Darla changes the subject and gets into the shower. Once she's done, Darla and Bailey get back on the road. One after another, Bailey and Darla canoodle at every stop Darla has ever done the deed. In a total of eight states, Darla and Bailey reenact all of the canoodling adventures of Darla. Meanwhile, Darla keeps on blogging about her road trip with Bailey and her blog is getting quite a lot of attention. Bailey has also been secretly posting about him and Darla on Instagram. At dinner at a diner one night, Darla sees Bailey drawing on a piece of tissue. Darla encourages Bailey to try the drawing career after he gets done with the surgery. Bailey tells Darla that he's having second thoughts about the surgery as he's been enjoying time with Darla. Darla tells Bailey not to take his chance on cancer, but Bailey does not want to talk about it, and so Darla drops the subject. Darla decides to resume their hookup adventure. At their next stop, Darla is a little hesitant, but she still goes inside the house with Bailey. Once inside, Darla gets overwhelmed and her eyes well up. After much of Bailey's insistence, Darla opens up about it. Darla had canoodled at that house with a man she did not know was married. The wife had walked in on them and then she drove off in such a fury that she had a car crash that left her paralyzed for the rest of her life. Darla still remembers the disgust in that woman's eyes. Darla still has not recovered from her guilt from that encounter. Darla and Bailey decide to leave. Bailey lets Darla rest and takes the steering wheel for the next part of the trip. 
Darla sleeps during the entire drive while Bailey drives. Okay guys, quick pause to remind you to comment, like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. On with the recap. The next morning, Darla wakes up in Dallas. Bailey has brought them to his parents' house. Darla is beyond horrid because she thought he was joking when he put the condition on their trip. Bailey asks Darla to pretend to be his girlfriend for the time they're there. Bailey does not want his parents to think he's in a mess, and so bringing home a new girlfriend solves that. Darla contemplates driving away, but still stays back. Later that night, dinner with Bailey's parents is an adventure. Bailey tells his parents that he met Darla at the cancer support group as she has breast cancer. Darla is seemingly horrified, but decides to go along with the story. Bailey's parents are kind enough towards Darla, but they are openly dismissive of Bailey's drawing skills, and so Darla is on fire to negate everything they have to say. Bailey's mom wants Bailey to get back together with Elizabeth because she too married her high school sweetheart. After dinner, Bailey shows Darla his bedroom. The two of them sit down on his bed and start to talk about the future. Bailey is scared for his future because he does not see himself with a woman who would want to be with him after cancer. Darla comforts Bailey, saying that no one cares about cancer as long as the guy is good. After a little light conversation, the two of them decide to go to Elizabeth's house to recreate Bailey's experience of losing his virginity. Darla agrees and they head out. At Elizabeth's house, Darla and Bailey wait outside until they're in the clear. Once all is clear, Darla and Bailey sneak into Elizabeth's room. Darla is amused by how babyish Elizabeth's room looks. Darla is quick to get on with the hookup, but Bailey tells Darla that recreating his experience has to be his way. Darla lets Bailey take the charge. After they're done, the two of them run away back to their car and drive off to Bailey's house. The next day, while Darla is in the shower, Bailey steals a look at Darla's tablet. Bailey comes to find the blog that Darla has been writing about them. Bailey does not say anything to Darla as they have to attend a party at Elizabeth's house and Darla is his girlfriend for the event. At the party, Bailey avoids Darla and Darla is quick to notice. Bailey's eyes keep searching for Elizabeth, but she's nowhere to be seen. While Darla is nudging Bailey, Bailey brings up Darla's supposed journaling. Darla covers it up. Right then, Bailey sees Darla coming down the stairs. Bailey grabs Darla and kisses her just so Elizabeth can see them together. And she does. When Elizabeth sees Bailey, she's a little thrown off by his new girlfriend. Bailey and Darla catch up on the last two weeks, and then Darla introduces herself. Elizabeth mentions that she has been keeping up with Bailey's Instagram posts about her. Darla is confused, but Bailey does not let her slip up and covers his track. Once Elizabeth has taken off to see other guests at the party, Darla confronts Bailey about using her to make Elizabeth jealous by posting about them on Instagram. As a counterattack, Bailey tells Darla that he has read her blogs. Things get out of hand when Darla threatens to tell everyone about Bailey's cancer, and she almost does, but then decides against her better judgment. Darla leaves the party and drives away in her car. Later that night, Darla is contemplating her life at a bar. A guy comes up to her and tries to flirt with her. Without thinking twice, Darla is canoodling with the random man in her car, and in the middle of canoodling, Darla stops and tells the man to get out. The man leaves and Darla breaks down in tears. The next day, Bailey is in his room when Elizabeth comes in with some sandwiches. Bailey is still embarrassed from the events of the previous day, but Elizabeth jokes about it. Elizabeth tells Bailey that she only wanted time out so they could know for sure if they were doing the right thing, as the two of them had never dated anyone else. Right then, Bailey tells Elizabeth about his surgery and she's supportive of it. The two of them decide to get back together and move back to Atlanta. Meanwhile, Darla goes to her mom, Betty's place. Betty shares the destructive nature that Darla has gotten from her. Betty invites Darla out along with her boyfriend, Bill, but Darla turns it down. Later that night, Bailey and Elizabeth are having dinner together with their families. During the dinner, Elizabeth brings up Bailey's new diagnosis, making the two families worry for Bailey and his future with Elizabeth. Bailey is furious with Elizabeth for sharing the news, and so and so he gets up and leaves. Meanwhile, Darla is spending time at Betty's place. Darla's having a hard time finishing up the last blog entry of her road trip with Bailey. Darla opens the map for a reference guide for a trip down her memory lane. Darla is surprised to see little drawings that Bailey has made for her across the map. Darla is touched and for the first time in her life, she feels loved. In that moment of vulnerability, Darla decides to have a little chat with Betty. Darla tells Betty about her addiction, but Betty rejects the attempt to discuss addiction. The next morning, Bailey and Elizabeth arrive in Atlanta. 
On their way out of the airport, Bailey realizes that he missed Elizabeth, but he did not miss being with her. Bailey tells Elizabeth that being together should be because they want to be, and not because it's the only option available. Bailey realizes that the two of them have outgrown their relationship, and Elizabeth agrees. Bailey and Elizabeth decide to part ways in a respectable and friendly manner. On the other side of the country, Darla wakes up to her mom fixing her car for her. Darla is touched, and even more so when Betty offers to make some breakfast before Darla hit the road again. Tears well up in Darla's eyes. The mother-daughter duo is finally on good terms. Back in Atlanta, Bailey decides to go to a cancer support group that he had initially hated. Unlike the last time when Bailey refuses to talk, Bailey shares his diagnosis this time around. Bailey reveals to the group that he had been scared of his cancer and that not talking about it seems like it did not exist. Bailey also tells the group about the road trip he took to clear his mind and how he met Darla. Right when Bailey starts talking about Darla, Darla happens to pass by the meeting room. Darla stops midway when he sees Bailey. Bailey confesses that he liked Darla because she was not grossed out by his cancer. Darla is touched once again and so she joins the group meeting pretending to have breast cancer. Darla shares her side of the story and in between the lines, Darla also makes an apology to Bailey for the way she behaved. A few days later, Darla is with Bailey at the hospital for his surgery, but only as a friend. Darla and Bailey remain close friends throughout Bailey's cancer journey. Meanwhile, Bailey starts his new job as an illustrator, whereas Darla does get her job back. But she quits and decides to write her book. Darla has also completed a whole year in therapy for her addiction. After a year, Bailey's cancer is in remission. Bailey and Darla decide to go on their official first date together. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.